Hello, family, and welcome back to another episode of Journey to Harmony. Uh, my name is Wes, and I'm your host, bringing you another topic. Um, so today's topic is uh, Amazon is going to be um, closing a facility in Minnesota. Um, it's one of the smaller facilities, but nonetheless, you know, people who are in that particular community are going to be affected. It's about 680 workers um, are going to be getting either the option to, to go up to a different facility. It might be about 20 or 25 minutes away or uh, decide to be laid off. So um, one of the big things that we talk about a lot here on Journey to Harmony is making sure that you have the opportunity to um, to take care of your family. Uh, don't put your family's well-being in someone else's hands. And part of that is either with investments or with opening your own business and being able to operate your income. Um, a lot of times we can there are different things that we can do that will allow us to begin this process part-time so you can work your full-time job while also doing something part-time. But uh, right now we're going into a what many people are calling a recession. Um, whether or not it's going to be a really deep recession or whether it's going to be a shallow recession is still yet to be seen. Um, there, are, there are different perspectives on both sides of this particular argument. And it's not so much my place to really tell you what exactly is going to happen. My focus clearly is solely based upon the idea that we need to prepare no matter what. Um, there's a lot of things that are changing right now in terms of um, technology. Um, I'm not sure if any of you've heard, but this chat GPT, um, it is it is coming heavy, you know, and companies are investing. It, it's capable of doing a lot of different things that will likely put um, will change the way employment is currently structured. Um, we've seen that in the past where, you know, there used to be when I was growing up, there used to be um, two or three guys on a, a, a trash truck and one person would be driving, two people would be on the back. They get off, they grab the, the um, they grab the trash, toss it into the, the, the top of the bin and then get back on and, and ride down to the next stop. Uh, now with technology, there's one person driving and there's an arm that comes up, grabs, grabs the trash can, puts it over. And that's it. So what used to be three people is now one person. And even with that, I know some a lot of us were looking Many people aren't interested in those jobs anymore. But it's just the idea overall that a lot of these things that are coming are capable of doing a lot of different things. Like a lot of restaurants are investing in uh, robots who can do a lot of the work that people do in terms of fast food. Um, so this next 10, 15 years is going to be an interesting time frame. And instead of us just waiting around for something to happen, let's make sure we're being aggressive. Let's be um, doing studies. Let's be going to conferences. Let's be learning um, whatever skill it is that we're doing and then be implementing that skill, you know, because um, with IT or different things like that, many of those things can be offshore. Um, someone in, in a different country can do that job for a fraction of the cost of what your employer will pay you. So um, if you're able to find some opportunities that are more uh here based where you're either, you know, running a business, you're doing something that can't be done from a computer in a different country. Um, that's a good start. You know, whether it's baking cookies, it's, uh, you know, running your own restaurant, all these things are, are necessary. Um, so while it may not seem like it's a perfect opportunity, um, in, the, in the midst of a recession, it's generally the best time to start a business because things are at their worst. And as business picks up, as we're coming out of the recession, um, it's generally easier because there's more funds that are in the economy. There's more opportunity that can pick up. So, um, yeah, this is just another um, reminder to us that things are changing, um, whether or not they will get much worse or or what exactly is going to happen. We can't say for sure. But I just want to encourage us as a people right now, don't sit back and just be uh, passive about your life and about what's going on. Make sure you're, you're taking the steps that that put whatever decision that happens in your hands. I have a friend that has recently bought um, some real estate property. And one of the things he said is that in the future, uh, life as an employee, it will be a decision, not a requirement, which means is that if I want to go to work, I have a right to go to work, but I want to build my life in a way that allows me to, to, to decide that if I don't want to work, I don't have to either because I have invested in my life. I want the same for all of you who are watching. Um, you know, I was a young man once upon a time and I wanted the opportunity to be able to, to, to decide as well, whether I wanted to continue working or whether I did not want to continue working and been putting things.
policies in place the last uh, few years just to make sure that that is a, a, a viable option for not for myself and for my family as well. So, uh, you know, if you like the content, please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll be back with another episode on here on Journey to Harmony. Thank you for your time. Thank you.